Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Coolios. What's up, chat? How y'all doing? How is everyone doing? About to go ahead and at everybody now. There we go. What's up, chat? How y'all doing? Chat, it's kind of crazy how I'm a TikToker now. <laughs> Alright, cool. Okay. What's going on, chat? How are y'all doing? Welcome to the stream. Let me just... Lower this just a little bit. Tips I wish I knew before I started streaming. Part fit. Part fifteen. Jesus. Okay. What's up, chat? How y'all doing? What's up, Jacob? How you doing, man? Yo, what's up, gamer? How you doing, man? I'm in the third jail of Persona 5 Strikers, dude. Having a fun time with- yeah, Having a fun time with the game. I was probably gonna play li uh, a little earlier, but I was just caught up in some stuff, so... Uh, yeah... We going through there pretty nicely, though. I actually... I'll be honest, I really like that I've gotten used to the fighting system in the game now, so... It's kinda just, like... I'm finally just used to that entire system, so it's, you know, it's it's more bearable now, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm having a fun time with the game. I, I, I mean, the story is, you know, literally just like Persona 5, just with a different gameplay element, so it's, it's really, it's, it's good so far, it's good. Uh, it's, I, I think, in my opinion, one of the things that I really like, at least for me, is just the battle sequences and how like seem like how seamless it can be. It, it's it's really nice. It's really nice. So um, yeah, chat. I mean, here we go. Here's the thing, right? I I wanted to stream either yesterday or the day before, but I had like a whole fucking like there was this thing, a whole family thing, and. I was like, oh, right, okay, okay, and then I have another thing on Saturday, so it's like, oh, because I have family coming over from the West Coast, so it's like, oh, uh, so I probably won't be able to stream Saturday, maybe tomorrow I should be able to, but I don't know, I don't remember, or I don't know what time, at least not yet, um, uh, it felt like a Persona game, but in a Warriors look, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, it's like, it's like, I'm, I mean, I'm not complaining. I think the action or the gameplay elements is good. It's just, um, it, it just took a lot to get used to because, uh, I'm playing on the Switch Pro controller and it's all like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> like, I'm using it and it's, it's working correctly, but, uh, like I had to map certain things to certain, uh, buttons and, um, I was thinking it would be like an Xbox mapping or whatever, but uh, yeah. I normally use the PS4 controller, bro. Is it really, it, do, for the PS4 controller, I just plug it in and it just works like that? Or do I have to do something uh, like a little like thing? 
Yeah? Oh, well, damn. Because, I don't know, I just... I never really considered using the PS4 controller only because, like... Um... My my Switch Pro controller is like right there, so it's like okay, and it's really just like that. So it's all good though. It's all good. But yeah, um, chat, how y'all doing? I'll I'll be honest. Like this entire week has been pretty. I want to say pretty busy. Just some family things going on. I got more family. I got family coming over from the West Coast and I think they're coming tomorrow and then we're doing something on Saturday. So that's why I probably won't be able. I most likely will not be able to stream on Saturday. Um, but yeah, like recently, I mean, I've been feeling I've been I've been feeling good. You know, I, I lost some weight. Uh, I lost. Uh, I'm not I'm not saying like I lost a lot of weight, but uh, your boy has been working out a lot more recently. I've been uh, jogging a lot. I've been, you know, just exercising in my room here only because I can't really afford to do anything like I can't really afford to pay monthly for a membership at a gym. Uh, unlike some of my friends are doing right now. And I did go with my best friend like I want to say a week or two weeks ago and um. It, it, it was good. It was good. The gym that he was, uh, that he had a membership with, uh, was really good. Um, I just don't honestly have money to fucking, like, pay however much it is to, uh, to work out, uh, over there. But, uh, um, yeah, I've been feeling good, though. I've been feeling good. I was reading a lot recently. I've, I've honestly just taken a lot of time, like, especially, like, a little bit recently just a little bit some time to myself just doing a lot of things by myself just reading just playing some games just playing some valorant you know even though i took a break from the val from valorant today and then uh oh what's up techno up close and personal blushes uh-huh <laughs> uh but yeah so um i got a i got a new phone case it, it you may think it's the same one and it literally is it's just that my previous phone case, it looked like this, and it was literally broken. Like, if you guys can see, like, you can't, there's no, there, look at all that shit that's missing, you know, compared to the one that I have right here, you know? So I obviously needed a new one. So my dad bought me it, so thank you to him. What's that in the case? Uh, it's my, like, cards, my, uh, my my cards <laughs> i'm not obviously i'm not trying to you know <laughs> but it's like my debit card my license you know uh what what else actually oh my metro card for the subway in the city um so yeah um but yeah I i'll be honest like like I said, I, I really just been taking some time off just to like do things by myself. I don't know why, but like recently I've really just come to come to really just enjoy time by myself, even though like I love my friends, but I don't know, like sometimes when you need like a day just by yourself, it actually is just a little bit it, it's it's weird, but it's like refreshing in a way because I love all my friends. It's just that like I, I don't know, like, I really just love fucking uh, reading a lot now. I like playing a game by myself for some reason. It's like, all right, well, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It's it's a little weird. I don't really know how to explain that. Uh, you know, it's weird. This summer is so cooler. Well, somewhat cooler. I don't know. I don't know about that, Jacob. Bro, it's in, in Jersey. It's like high 80s right now, but a few weeks ago, it was 90 degrees fahrenheit plus non-stop every almost every day of the week I, it was like a week or two weeks ago swear to god but uh yeah honestly being alone is for the best to do the things that you want to do oh yeah like like sometimes i like i really just didn't i, I was just like reading a lot i was just here i was job hunting which i was doing some earlier um but yeah, I'm probably gonna, I'm most likely gonna continue job hunting tomorrow and then, uh, you know, just see how that goes. And then I got family on Saturday and it's like, oh my goodness, so many things are going on. That's why it is a little cooler than we've been getting rainy storms during the summer. Ah, okay, that is true. I mean, well, 
rainy uh, i haven't had oh well no it was it there was actually a thunderstorm yesterday but not five minutes later it just became sunny again i was like oh passing shower it is i see <laughs> so uh yeah but um i mean as you guys already know uh i mean like i explained this like i think a week ago or something like that i basically told everybody that i was pretty much in some sort of uh content creation slump and uh i was really just trying to think of what to do in terms of content creation because i obviously you know i like doing this and it feels good to just play games to the internet where people can watch and enjoy what is going on and i can play with my friends without a care in the world and just have fun with it which is great um but I, I, like i said i was in a content creation sl slump like days ago and um i recently kind of got out of it the only thing is i still honestly don't really i'm still trying to figure out what to stream because I think I was, I, like I said, I was going to stream yesterday, but something came up and then I was like, okay, today, Thursday, what am I gonna stream? And I was like, ugh, I don't really feel like streaming a game. <laughs> so yeah, I was all like, all right, I'll just go live. I'll, I have to talk about things anyway. So it's like, all right. Uh, I mean, obviously I'll stream Mario Kart again. I'll obviously probably stream Smash again. I'll obviously stream some Valorant again, um, but it's like, I don't know I, I like as I was coming as I was getting to go or as I was preparing myself getting ready to stream today like not an hour ago I was like what am I gonna play today like I actually just don't know what and then I was like you know I'll just do it just chatting fuck it like I'll just do it just chatting just for a little bit oh I did get Mario Golf how are you enjoying that I heard it was I heard it was good I heard it was, eh, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I, I didn't really, I didn't really have money or anything of the sort to go ahead and consider getting it. But, uh, yeah, so I was just in a uh, content creation slump and uh, not a few days ago, I, I obviously opened up my TikTok, which, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I mean, I, I don't really have to anything else to say other than, well, I have a TikTok now. So if you haven't already checked out your boy's TikTok, if you do have an account, I'm not forcing you to make an account, but I'll be honest. I hope I put up my first video yesterday, first TikTok on there yesterday, and I got over 300 views just from one little smash ultimate highlight i swear to god and it was uh i'll show you guys right now actually and i uploaded one yes uh earlier today as well and that has over close to 150 views right here it's kind of crazy but like i'm getting a lot of views from these tiktoks which makes me realize you know what i have to continue making content on tiktok you know so expect a lot more posts on tiktok but the first the first tiktok that i posted was um what's up techno wait i recognize this no yeah it was when we were playing as steve right and we just kept inputting the same buttons over and over and over again <laughs> so i made a tiktok of that and uh it got over 300 views with over with close to 50 likes right here if you see my cursor 50 likes almost i'm not i'm not gonna play it on stream because it does contain some uh some dmca audio which i don't want to you know i don't want to you know but uh i posted that it got over 300 views i was like that's kind of crazy and then i posted this four hours ago which was the ko uh uh which was the ko um clutch that i had when he first came out almost oh my god that was almost a month ago
and uh, this got 26 likes at the moment and almost 150 views and it's like holy shit like I gotta continue making content for TikTok and I obviously have because I can show you guys right now that there is another one in the works uh, I could show you guys right now but on the app there is a drafts thing which you can see hold on wait if it loads there you go the next highlight is an among us highlight so uh yeah look forward to that if you follow my tiktok but yeah it's good but not much of an, a difference to older mario golf games but the only change that you have running in the course and get to the ball you hit ah i see okay that's interesting. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I, I mean, I, there's other games that I'm more interested in, if I'm being honest with you, like Monkey Ball. Like, I'm honestly just really looking forward to that when it releases. And then there's also, um, I want to say Colors Ultimate Edition. Um, there's also Metroid. And then, obviously, there's this new, s literally, Steam Valve just put out a new Switch. But you can play all your Steam library in there, which is crazy. That's actually insane. Among Us TikTok content. Yeah, so, so what you guys can expect, at least, you know, in terms of, like, TikTok content, like... Maybe I may I may even put this up on my TikTok just to even explain to like the people who is following me or who may even like come up in my feed or whatever. But if you come across my TikTok, AZ Larlar, go follow it. But expect stream highlights, some a lot of edits, you know. Uh honestly, you may I I was also planning this out, but also expect some anime stuff too. And then I don't know, just some other antics. I, there was also something else where I filmed myself getting bubble tea. Like, <laughs> I swear, I, I'm literally about to like post whatever random over there and just make it funny, hopefully. And then, you know, yeah. So go follow it. <laughs> uh, it looks like a Switch clone, but the design almost like a gamer gear in a uh, game gear in a weird way. That is true. That is true. I did see a tweet like that. But uh, yeah, that that Valve thing is very, very, very interesting. You know, I can imagine you going Craigasm over Yui in TikTok. No, no, no. So the first anime one that I have at least planned is uh, spring 2021 anime recommendations. People have to know how stacked spring 2021 was so i'm obviously gonna make a tiktok on that there's gonna be two parts two parts you know and then i'm gonna do a winter 2021 and then when the summer season ends in september i'll do a summer one you know and then whatever anime stuff is really i mean like we'll see i mean i may even do ones like oh i've recently watched this anime or i've recently uh or i'm currently watching this or I, um, I watched this anime, but I didn't really think of, I didn't really, I thought it was, you know, a little bit, eh, compared to how other people enjoyed it, or whatever, I don't know, etc. Watch them make, make them watch Vivi? Oh yeah, dude, I, I will, I will. Did you see the specs of it? Um... I saw a screenshot. I didn't read through all of it. Let me actually pull it up because I saw a screenshot, but I didn't see all of it. I'll pull, I'll pull up a screenshot right now. But yeah, so, um, yeah, so that that's like all the anime stuff that I was planning. Uh, I could, if I really wanted to, fucking uh, put up a, uh, you know, just a top tier waifus or whatever, but. I don't know. It really just depends if, you know, uh, if uh, I, I run out of ideas for that. But yeah, so I can tell you right now, if you watch my tick, if you follow my TikTok and etc. There's going to be a TikTok regarding spring 2021 anime, and it's going to be in two parts. I don't know when it's going to get released, but just know it's I've obviously started planning. So, yeah. 
All right, so let's take a look at this, at these specs because I I saw a screenshot of it, and uh, yeah. Yo, what's up, LP Crossover? How you doing, man? A stream? What this, bro? We're just talking, just chilling, just uh, catching up. Hello, Pokuya. Hello, Takio Mallory. How you doing? There we go. Sorry, I can't speak Tagalog well. I'm just saying. <laughs> um. Okay. So. Okay. This is basically just this. This shit. Okay. Cool. There's a headphone jack. Type-C port. Oh, okay. Status. Oh my god. Takio, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, man. Uh, L2, all Elka. That's pretty self-explanatory. Micro SD card slot. Self. R4, R5. What is that? It's interesting. Doing good at the moment, Pog. No, yeah, we're just... We're just, uh, we're just chilling, you know, we're just talking about whatever, you know. Okay, speeds and feeds, compute, processor, AMD, APU. Oh my god. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM, bro? Holy shit, this thing is fast then, oh my god. Okay, Long Paul, I can teach you, Paul. I mean, I'm good. I'm I'm good. I, I don't want to. <laughs> Yesterday, I was either chilling playing DDR or losing my breath from DDR. Yesterday, I was losing my breath because I was working out a lot. You know, you know me. <laughs> I don't have the dialect of a Filipino. I just don't. I just don't. I, I just don't have it. Um. Okay. Gamepad inputs, blah, blah, blah. You already know. Uh, display, resolution, 12, 12, 1280 by 800. Okay. All right. Optimum, okay. It's bonded LCD for enhanced readability. 7-inch diagonal for 60 hertz. Okay. Yes. Connectivity. Bluetooth, obviously. Wi-Fi. Okay, cool. Wait, there's a dock. There's a dock too, right? St audio, stereo, 3.5. Okay, cool, cool, cool. USB type C, power input. Okay, cool. UHC, okay, cool. Size. I don't know this, so I can't really say. Steam OS 3.0. Okay. I want that now. I heard it was like $600 or like close to 400. Something like that. Can we reserve it? So this is the dock right here. 3.0 ethernet. Oh my God, dude. They have an ethernet cable in this game. Oh my God, dude. That's actually kind of crazy. There's two USB uh, 2.0. There's a 3.1. There's an ethernet power in HDMI 2.0 display port 1. Bro, that's crazy. What the hell? Oh my God. This dock is good. And it doesn't come out till December. Okay, so how much is this? Oh my god, Jesus. Uh, speaking of which, I miss Ace 2-0. <laughs> uh, spe uh, speaking of which, I miss going to the gym. I need to go back to doing that. Yeah, like I said, I, I, would, I would spend money and go to the gym and pay monthly. But I just don't. I just can't. So... Yeah, because I'm still looking for a job. Uh, choose your stream deck. 399 for the 64 gigabyte. 529 for the 256. And then it's 649 for the 512 gigabyte. What the fuck, dude? I mean, honestly, if we're being completely honest here. You could really just get the... F you could really just get the 399 one. You could really just get that, you know? And just call it a day, but it's only 64. But if I'm not mistaken, there's an SD card. So it's like, okay, you can also just use the SD card as well. Non 2 port 600 is too expensive. Also, me buying MTG packs. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I look at this price, um, and it's like, 
whoa. But then you realize, you know what? This could be worth, you know, this could easily be worth. There's a, plus you can play your entire Steam library. So it's like, bro, come on. Yeah, I need to make sure the budget is good enough for me to spend on the gym. Yeah. But the gym that I went to, or at least my friend, uh, at least my friend went over and, uh, he brought me over there, but, um, it was a really nice gym, but he told me the price every month and I'm like, oh, dude, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that, man. I can play P4G on the go. Yeah. Like there's a lot of games that you can easily play. That is dope. That is pretty dope. Steam library. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your entire Steam library. So anything from GTA 5 or literally anything from your library, you can just go ahead and play it here. You know, there's a dock too. The official dock props your Steam Deck while connecting to external displays, wire networking, USB peripherals, and power. You can also use a powered USB-C hub if you got one lying around. The official dock will be sold separately. Oh, it's going to be sold separately. Oh, gosh. I'm not going to cap. How much is the... It, chat, chat, how much is the dock going to be? What do you guys think? Oh, God. Because I, I just... I heard separately so i'm like oh no <laughs> separately yeah well from the a ddr is hell expensive 2000 a year oh my god maybe more if you're really dedicated i only play once a week oh my goodness but 2000 a year oh my god well from the specs they sent it looks very much a high-end mobile specs yeah okay let's take a look at the faq the fact why is there a reservation fee? The main reason for reservations is to ensure an orderly and fair ordering process for customers when Steam, Steam Deck inventory becomes available. The additional fee gives us a clearer signal of intent to purchase. Oh, so they're trying to like do something for scalpers. Okay. Why is my account not able to purchase until Sunday? We are aware of potential unauthorized resellers and as an additional safeguard to ensure a fair ordering process we added a requirement that the reserver has made a purchase on steam prior to june 2021 for the first oh i see okay okay when you submit a reservation you'll be put on a queue once inventory is available how can i cancel what regions are blah 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 blah, blah. one steam deck obviously what happens to my reservation fee if i do not will be refunded in full. How much is the reservation fee anyway? Does it say here? Or maybe it's in the... Hold on, wait, let me log into Steam. Does anyone know how how uh, how much the res uh, reservation fee is? Because let me just log into Steam. Maybe I can see it from here. Because, I mean, you're already paying 399 for this. You're paying 529 for the 256. And then at most, you're paying 649 for the 512 plus the dock. So it's like maybe a potentially $700 if someone is going to get the 512. You know what I'm saying? So Valve is very clear and knowing that scalpers will make it unfair to get. That, that is true, though. That is true. That is very true. Which props to them, but it's like, I mean, I could see why people could be, you know, uh, turned off by it. Now the, the, now the Stream Deck also play Windows 10 game. Stream Deck is the Elgato product LP. <laughs> Just saying. I'm not going to cap. When I saw the Twitter notification, I thought it said Stream Deck. I was like, what? What? <laughs> Okay. Reserve. Can I not? Oh, it's a $5 reserve thingy? Oh, that's actually not terrible. If I'm being honest here. That's not bad at all. You know? Like I said, it's 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 to prevent scalpers from from getting what 
you know what they're getting you know so it's like i could see why they added the five dollar re reservation fee plus you know if you didn't make a purchase prior to june 2021 then you're, you're kind of fucked so it's like okay but it will open tomorrow at 1 p.m 10 a.m pacific okay all right now to stream deck also play windows 10 game i would not think so I would only think it would be Steam, if I'm being honest with you. Because if if it did, that'd be pretty OP. But I mean, if you either have your PC or your Xbox, I want to say, but I could be wrong. Horizon 4 will be on Steam. That is true. Which, by the way, I've also thought it over, right? But I think my first next gen console when the time comes might be an xbox it actually just might be an xbox i'm not even joking like obviously i'm a playstation guy i've never owned an xbox console in my life like in my life i have never had an xbox console but that e3 presentation they were they showed off it sold me like it literally sold me on a fucking on Xbox Game Pass, which you can get on PC. You can do that, right? You can easily do that. But also on Xbox, not the Series X, by the way, not the Series X. It might just, I probably, I'll probably i probably just have only time for a Series S, which is the lower end. But even then, it's like, holy shit, you know? Obviously, there's, you know, exclusives, and etc. You know, but I'll be honest, they really sold me on a on an xbox on me getting an xbox so when the time comes it most likely will be an xbox when the time comes but who knows i don't like ha, like maybe playstation has like you know they didn't have their thing they had in they didn't have their presentation uh so it's like hmm Series X, uh, the only time Xbox kind of sold me was the 360 back then. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, I've never owned an Xbox. I, I, I have a PS4, I have a Switch, I have, I have a Wii, I have a Wii U, uh, obviously, you know, Nintendo stuff back then, but I'm obviously branching out, but I'm down to get an Xbox as my first next gen. I'm down. Like, I'm, I'm honestly just down. Like, that Game Pass thing just sold me. It did. Series X is amazing, but reality being you have Xbox Play anywhere, so it makes the console almost obsolete. True. Never got sold by Xbox, only Sony products. That's fine. That's fine. Because I because obviously, you know, if you asked me like five years ago, I would have been like, Xbox? The fuck? Who, who cares? But now it's like, hmm, we got to think about this just a little bit, you know? Like, obviously, PlayStation has their exclusives. And if I'm being honest with you, the exclusives for PlayStation kind of win over just a little bit. But feel like there, I feel like there needs to be more from PlayStation, you know? That's why I'm kind of hoping that if they have, like, a presentation that is almost similar to E3, I hope it knocks it out of the park. Because then I'll be like, oh, well, fuck. Never mind, then. PlayStation 5 all the way. But I don't know. We'll. I mean, we'll see. It's not like I have money to buy any of these consoles anyway but it's like you know so it's really just like we'll see we'll see but um i'm definitely down for an uh, for a series s when it when the, the when the time comes like I'm, I'm so down the stream this the steam deck though is very interesting as well i don't see myself buying it uh because i mean i have my pc here and I do need to upgrade my PC at some point, which, by the way, I should probably say upgrading my PC specs are at a higher priority than a next gen console. Uh, but um, this this Steam Deck look looks interesting, but I don't think I'm going to buy it. I, I mean, it's, it's really just like I have my PC right here already. So it's like whatever, you know, oh my God turn 10 studios and forza horizon 5 this is my game of 2021 i need to try out a forza game i really do like i really do 
I like racing games. So it's like not Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I have to say that, but not Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But I like racing games like that, especially like a realistic one. Like I have Gran Turismo on the I remember playing it on the PS3 and I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Um Yes, yeah, so that's really just speaking of which did you hear that nintendo canceled switch oled pre-orders because of stream steam deck that's not true is it are you serious no way no way are you being serious right now no way yeah, no, I don't find a reason of getting the Steam Deck anytime soon. The only thing, if I would get it, that I would have it heavily for a lot of retro games to emulate and some games that are small to mid-level. That is true, yeah. Because if you have a console, there's literally no point in buying that shit, if I'm being honest with you. What's up, Hugo? I'm waiting on the new Forza Motorsport because they don't talk about it ever. Wait, are you being serious, LP? There's no way. How? One of my friends talked about it on Discord. He's almost never wrong. OLED model. Out of stock. Damn, bro. People are really buying this shit. Is it sold out everywhere? I would think so. Yeah, not available. I'm just I'm just going off of it. I would show my screen, but I'm not trying to dox myself. Yeah. OLED switch is out of stock. Is there anyone that is actually getting the OLED switch? Like, let me know in chat. Because um Nope, not me. I'm not getting the OLED model because come on. Yeah, no. Okay. Okay. Xbox Series S is still available at Best Buy. Is it still up now? That'd be kind of crazy if it's still up now. Hold on, wait a second, guys. Oh, shit. It's actually available now. It's actually still in stock. That's crazy. Wait. Wait, let me show you guys. Wait, I I, I don't want to dox myself. Give me... Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, how do I do this? Uh, let's see. Dot. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Still available to pre-order? No, no, no. The Xbox Series S. The Xbox Series S, Wario64 tweeted out at 4.11 today. And it's still up now. Are these things getting more and more, you know, easier to get now? I'm not trying to dox myself, but here, look, check, check it. I'm not doxing myself with this, I don't think. But look, I can add this to my cart if I really wanted to. Like, I could, I could literally add this to my cart. But obviously, I'm not going to do that because, you know, our Pog must want it. If someone screenshot it, I'll probably screenshot it back. And then, you know. Oh, need more money? Yeah, like I said, if I had the money to do so, I would. But, you know, I'm trying to save. I don't have a job. I'm still trying to find one. But, um, yeah, so this is still in stock. That's kind of crazy. Well, I'm still gonna wait for a PS5 in stock. True. I think he actually, I think Wario64 actually tweeted out that the PS5 one's in stock somewhere recently. But that was like a couple thingies ago. Genshin Impact Mona figure $220. All right, chat, who got $220? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, PS5, PS5. 
No. Literally, the only thing PS5 that I see that is tweeted out anywhere is a fucking bundle. Swear to God. Like, I don't know what they've... I don't know what they're doing over there, but every time Wario64 tweets out that a PS5 is in stock, it's most likely going to be a bundle. And I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to get the bundle. I'm trying to get the actual console, you know? But yeah, I could see why it, it's a little, it's pretty frustrating because, you know, you, you obviously want to hope to get a fucking, you know, PS5, but, you know. Anyways, if you want to know how I almost lost my breath on DDR, any, look up the song Nagaki no Ki on a single challenge. Don't jaw drop. Okay, I would do that, but I may possibly get DMC8 for that, so I'm not going to do it. I'll keep it in mind, though. I'll actually type it in right now. Naga key, no key. It's a two-minute video. Wait, this is not a... Oh, I see it. Yo, guys, who has $220, guys? $220, anybody? Anybody? <laughs> oh, God! What else came out? What else came out in the news? Um... You know what? We need to talk about 20 Persona 25th. Oh, yeah, that is true. Get your cousin to donate. Ah, uh, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to do that, man. He, <laughs> he can donate if he wants to. Um, yeah. So Persona, guys, there are no DMCA's on Konami songs. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's the case. Then I'll make sure that I have a link. I'm pretty sure I have a video right here. So, okay. So Persona Six. Are they announcing it? That are they are they announcing that shit? Because I think Okay, so they had one of the one of the things, whatever they had, it had every protagonist from every persona game. At least every main character main protagonist. So you obviously had, you know, Joker and fucking Yu Narukami and then people from Persona 3, I don't know who that is, two, one, etc. And then there's one left over. Who else could that even be other than the Persona 6 protagonist? I'm sorry, but it's like, it can't be anybody else other than that, right? Like, who else could it be? Fucking Morgana? No. Why? If, they, if it was Morgana, they probably would have done it by now. They probably would have shown that by now. But no, it's like a whole secret thing. And there's not going to be, there's no announcements until September. So it's like, oh. Persona only, only saw one stream of it. An epic fail by Sarge. Oh, God. I had that epic fail of once when in one turn, my entire team died. I remember that. I'm going to spectate that Persona 6 will be, be, will be on 2022. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. 2022 for the reveal i wouldn't be surprised if that game came out years from now which would obviously be the case but you know it, it is what it is by the way techno mentioned persona 5 arena i wouldn't be surprised i feel like that would make sense i feel like that would make sense it really would um the other thing that i would fucking love is a remaster or a remake of persona 3 Put that shit on PC. I will buy it. I will literally buy it. Buy that. Put that shit on PC, Atlas. I will literally buy it. Don't care how much that is. I will buy it. It's not even the fact that I know what Persona 3 is or whatever. I saw my sister playing it. I thought it looked dope. But it's like, even then, it's like, I will literally buy it because I want to play more Persona. By the way, LP, thank you very much. I need to sip some water anyway. By the way, I may have dinner soon because my sister's coming home with food, so.
but literally put persona 3 on pc i don't care if it's a remake port remaster put that shit on pc and i'm happy bro i'm literally I'm, and then i'm satisfied I literally i don't even think they have to announce persona 6 i will literally be happy with just that obviously people will be up in arms about persona 5 arena but you know like i said persona 3 put that shit on pc i'm fine i'm literally good but then again right atlas saw the enormous support for persona 4 golden on pc so it really is like a no-brainer that they would put other persona games on pc right like come on and they should honestly put persona 4 golden on switch as well like they should they should put some they should put persona 4 on switch they, I, they honestly should do that and then maybe even a double reveal of ayo hey, persona 3 whatever is going to be on pc and switch but if it's a remake if it's a remake, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised with that either. But uh, then that would mean it would probably be on the consoles, which I don't mind either. Like I don't mind that either. We had Persona Three dancing back then, and they likely still have a assets. Okay, all right, yeah. Like I said, it, it makes sense, right? So there's seven reveals. Two of them are guaranteed game reveals because. If you guys saw, like, I have to look, uh, let me look it up. So, uh, so you guys can also see. Uh, uh, Persona Central has it. Persona for more cross platforms. They really should do so. Persona is just going to get more and more bigger when, if, if, when they do that. Okay. Here it is. Uh, so, like I said earlier, one of the main sets of Persona 25th Anniversary merchandise is teasing a new character and what could potentially be the face of Persona 6. Once again, who else could it fucking be other than the next Persona game and the protagonist of said Persona game? Like, literally, these are all the these are all the main protags, to my knowledge, of every Persona game out there. One, this is Persona... Uh, Top left is Persona 1, the purple. And then the next two is Persona 2. Next person is Persona 3. And I think this is also Persona... The, the bottom left is also Persona 3. And then you have you, Persona 4, yellow. And then you have Joker, fucking uh, Persona 5, right there. So who is... C what? Who is this? Who is this secret guy? It's literally... Like... Who, who else could it literally be other than the next person for Persona 6? Like, who else? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, like it honestly just makes it makes no sense for it to be somebody else other than the next protagonist. And then there's also this, um, which shows every mainline persona persona game. They have some of the they have the double of the four of the five. They have Royal as well. They have Gold on on here. They have Peeth. P3. I don't think I think they have Fess in here. Yeah, they don't. But then there's two other there's two other ones. So it's like Come on, bro. Like like dude. Fess was an expansion expanded version of Persona 3. Okay, cool. P2 X P5. Oh, because of the color. All right. <laughs> See, even someone said, I'm trying to think, well, what would they actually be besides Persona 6? Oh, someone else replied, someone else pitched the idea of a remake, uh, which might be an idea. That or maybe one of the other seven upcoming projects. Once again, all Atlas has to do is just put P3 on PC and I'm fine. Put anything P3 related anywhere, I will buy it. I will literally buy it. Just put P3 on there, I'll be happy. Uh, I think that makes sense, what the guy said there. Like, it uh, it could be a remake of sub of something, and then Persona 6. That could make sense. That could, in my opinion, make sense, if I'm being honest with you. Because no Persona game has had a remake, to my knowledge, right? Like, 
everything has been either expansions or a remaster. So it's like, a remake could work. Now, what would it be? It would probably be, be Persona 3 only because that shit is popular. And I know, I'm pretty sure Atlas doesn't really acknowledge Persona 1 and 2 despite them being on here, but doing it, I guess, because they have to, but they don't really acknowledge Persona 1 and 2. So a Persona 3 ma remake makes a lot of sense here. And then Persona 6 is obviously, that makes a sense as well. And these are also, these are also just mainline games. So there's no arena, there's no dancing. These are all just mainline, along with the remasters and shit. So it's like, okay, makes sense. But once again, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like for me, once again, it makes sense that a remake ha is, is it, and then Persona 6. Now, I think, I think it makes sense that if and when they reveal Persona 6, there's going to obviously be a vanilla version and then, then, and then a better version a year or two later. So it's like, okay. Or, uh, you know what they can do? They could re-release and make an official English translation, uh, translation of SMT if as if it was the inspiration that predated for Persona. They could do that as well. They could do that as well. Or a whole ass collection. Persona 4, I mean, Persona 1 to P4, right? The best versions of it, collection, and put it everywhere. PC, Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, put it all in there. Then boom. Atlas wouldn't do it. Well, I don't really know how Atlas works, but if they, if, if, if people say that they wouldn't do that, then okay. But once again, I honestly really like the Persona series now. So it's like, I will take any sort of new Persona thing anywhere. I will most likely buy it. Just saying. Like they are kind, but not that kind. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Okay. Uh, what else? What else uh, is there? Because I mean, like I said, I really don't. I mean, there's seven total announcements, but not all of them are going to be games. I hope everybody understands that. Two of them are guaranteed games, though. But um, yeah. Persona series is a start to the Mega Ten franchise, which is good. True. Have you seen any trailers of No Man's Sky on Series X? I don't think I did. I heard that the game got like a whole huge overhaul. I think I saw like a few screenshots, but I could be wrong. By the way, since P4 being all about reaching for the truth and P5 being all about rebellion, wonder what P6 is going to be all about. Uh... That is honestly a good question, because I don't really know. Like, I feel like for me... Like, I couldn't really tell you what Persona 6 could be. You know, I really can't. I don't know if there's a Persona game that is set where the adults are the main characters, but I could be wrong there. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the setting or what it could be, if I'm being honest with you. The only thing people that are new need to realize Persona is a spinoff to SMT. No, yeah, and it's kind of crazy, but a lot of people don't realize that, which is a little cringe, if I'm being honest with you. Like, everyone's all like, oh, Persona is so good. It's the better than Shin Megami Tensei. And I'm all like, you know that, uh, <laughs> you know that uh, something else came before uh, Persona, you know, right? Like, come on, man. But, uh, yeah, it's like the pers the setting for Persona 6 would be interesting. I feel like a girl protagonist could work because I mean the last two have been uh, males, so I think a female protagonist could work. Um, but 
like the setting the story i i don't know i i don't know i i don't know what the story and whatever it could be because i feel like that's a i feel like that's too hard to judge as of right now if i'm being honest with you What is SMT? And I still don't know Persona much. LOL. Uh, Shimmy got me Tensei. So uh, that's basically uh, Persona is a spinoff of Shimmy Shimmy got me Tensei. Uh, I don't know anything other than that. But Shimmy got me Tensei came first before Persona. So yeah. If anything, Jacob knows more and better than me. So. uh yeah i see i just see a lot of people in the uh replies uh they're just they're just basically saying um uh, persona 6 you know a lot of people are just saying persona 6 and then people are just saying you know you know hey, yo, remake bro remake persona 3 or something like that so oh let me check the valorant shop oh did i get any other new I got 168 views on this thing now. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Let me just check the Valorant shop and then call it a day. Oh yeah, another thing to talk about. SMT is much darker than Persona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, another thing that we can talk about. The Smash Bros. Killer game itself. Oh my god. The Nickelodeon game. Chat, I'm pretty sure you guys saw that. Oh, man. <sighs> Dude, apparently wave dashing is in it. What? What, dude? Wave dashing is in it. Rollback? Oh, my God. Pat that code, bro. I'm like, bro, this actually sounds better than fucking Smash. Like, come on. How does that happen? How does that literally happen, dude? That's just insane. Now I need to see some combos. Do do we know when it releases? It releases this year, right? Or am I wrong? I'm just gonna check the Valorant shop because I'm curious. Let me just ask something. Give me a second. I need to ask my sister where she is. Don't worry, I'm not playing. Trash. Okay, good. Unfortunately, the only show I watched on Nickelodeon is Avatar The Last Airbender. Really? Just that? I mean, I haven't watched every Nickelodeon show, but I mean, I've watched... Uh, I mean, I've watched some of others, you know? Fall 2021. Uh, in SMT, the monsters are called demons, but in Persona, they are called shadows, and Persona's in between. Yeah. Okay. I actually kind of want to take a look at this trailer because uh, this shit was so funny, man. Bro, a million views. Holy shit. A million views, dude. Oh my god. Get ready to brawl! Oh my god! TMNT! Michelangelo! Oh my god. I'm just rewatching this again. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Also, I heard some people say the music of the trailer is DMCA. I, yeah, I did hear that. That's why I muted it. Look at this shit! With your Nickelodeon favorites, Patrick! Oh my god, just watching this again just is so fucking funny, man.
Patrick is going to be a very boonga boonga character. <laughs> Reptar. Battle with friends. Oh my god. Zim. Danny Phantom, bruh. Fucking Leonardo. Plus many more surprises. Oh. Do we have a full roster or are there still characters that we don't know is in the game? Available fall 2021. PS4, PS5, Switch, Xbox Series, and Xbox One. Crazy. How the hell do they have not have Aang in the first trailer? That is true. You would think that they would have, like, at least Aang in this fucking, you know, roster, you know? They said they are working on a PC version. Oh, okay, dope. Yeah, never watched any of these shows because my parents know better. Oh, okay. All right. I can see where you're coming from there. That, like, I, I remember my parents were really just up in arms of, in terms of me, you know, watching some of some of these shows, especially on Cartoon Network. But, uh, you know. Oh, dude, that shit is dope. Like, that, 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 that like, Watching that trailer again is just so dope. That was my shit. Uh, I don't think I've ever watched it. I think I've only watched like a few episodes, but I just don't remember. But yeah, that, uh, the fact that it has rollback, the fact that you can play it on any, every platform, and it's fucking Nickelodeon characters, like, come on, son, like, what, what, uh, what more can you ask for, you know? Spongebob, only one episode. In calculus class, the teacher said, why not? LOL, the Krusty Krab pizza episode. Oh. <laughs> Smash players are going to drop that game and move on to this. Bro, I'm telling you right now. I watched the, I watched that trailer when it first came out. And I was like, dude, this looks so dope. This looks better than Smash. And then it said they had, ro they had the, the, sh the game has rollback. And, uh, what is it? You can play literally on every platform. That's just crazy. That's just crazy to me. Uh, let's see. No, this is Patrick. Bro, I'm just terrible with impressions, bro. I'm telling you that right now. Like, I'm just terrible with impressions. Okay. Um. What else? Oh, is anyone trying out that Pokemon Unite thing? Literally, Pokemon League of Legends? Is anyone trying that out? I may actually stream it. I didn't play the beta, but I'm definitely down to try it. I, I'm down to try it. Yeah, I don't know. Check Discord and other games. Okay. Wait, the box art is... The box art has a bunch of silhouettes on it. Are you being wait, are you being serious right now? That means that means, you know, every character hasn't been shown off yet. Okay, okay, hold on a second.
Here we go. This is uh this is the box art which basically shows that there are more characters yet to be shown off on in this game. It's being worked on, but they are teasing what about what other characters are in the box art. Right, and Stimpy might be in this game. Yeah. I can't I don't really recognize anybody else like i would need to look at pictures first wait as well as cat dog cat dog is where in this box art the hand looks like ang on the left right here This hand right here? No, that actually looks like Korra just a little bit. That might be Korra. Bottom right? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I can see it then. See you guys! Smash who? <laughs> Smash who, bro? Like, uh, Smash Brothers who? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I need to look at Cat Dog's uh, design again. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's gotta be them, bro. Yeah, that, that's gotta be them, yep. They're bringing back Ren and Stimpy. This is going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. And it's coming out this fall. So it's like, oh, okay. Oh, man. LP redeemed an IRL word ban of that word, which I will try and start using now. So I can't use that word until further notice. <laughs> Okay, it's 8.31. My sister's, eh, hold on, wait. Uh, so not any time soon. From what it sounds like, my sister's not coming home anytime soon. So that means I'm probably gonna, I'm probably just gonna have to come upstairs and get some get some food first. Damn. I wish we can watch some of the clips of the shows we used to watch. True. Oh my god! Fucking hell! Damn it, Jacob! <sighs> Fuck! Nope, we start again, we start again, we start again. We start again, nope, don't care. We start again. 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 <laughs> we start again, bro, we start again. Okay. No use of that word, okay? <laughs> I'm looking at y'all in the chat and it's just ugh damn it okay I will go get some food how about showing off Nagahi no key video shut up LP that will pass time uh can you link it because I'm gonna go get food. Yeah, you can't get me that time, sir. You can't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So how long will your sister be back? I don't know. Like... It sounds like... Not anytime soon. So... Yeah.
that means I have to go find something downstairs to eat. We'll see. That's why I will most definitely go downstairs and get something to eat. So, yeah. I'm just waiting for LP to link it. What do you think you'll be getting, Chips? I don't know. I don't know. Like, it, it's got to be something quick, though. Like, th that I know. Like, it's got to be something quick. All right, LP has linked it. I will play this and repeat it. And I will be back.
Hello. So I have dinner right now because my sister said that she's not coming home until later. So that sucks. Oh, what's up, Ollie? What's up, Emmett? What did you get? Um, it's this Filipino thing. I, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a beef. It's like beef with a mushroom sauce and shit. And then I have a barbecues thing. And then I have a couple veggie sticks. There he is, Halo God. I don't know about Halo God. <laughs> oh shit! It looped. <clears throat> I apologize, chat. Let me just eat for a little bit. What did everyone have for dinner? Hmm. I didn't eat dinner, bro. Get some dinner. What are you talking? See, here's the barbecue. So good, bro. There's this barbecue. No, there's this Filipino place chat that we always go to, <clears throat> and their food is always just so fucking good, man. Chicken and waffles. Sounds good. Jersey Mike's. What did you get from Jersey Mike's? Rice some black beans with coleslaw. <clears throat> I gotta sleep for work tomorrow. Ah, okay. What's that place called? Uh, it's a local place. I'm not trying to, you know, dox myself. Hmm. It's so good, though. It's just like everything that they have there is just so damn good. But yeah. But in, a, <clears throat> in other news... How's everyone doing? I'm just gonna have this up in the thing. <laughs> Sub sausage, tomatoes, onions, lettuce with mayo and honey mustard. Oh, okay, okay. Probably not my goat cool runnings. Wait, what? Techno, don't say that, bro. <laughs> Wait, Ollie, what do you mean? Yeah. 
Yeah, so... <clears throat> what my sister was going to get me, because she was with her friends, she was going to get this hibachi plate or whatever. And I was waiting for that. But I'm like, fuck, man. It's a local joint that sells banger food. What kind of food, bruh? Speaking of which, uh, but you probably mean local local, so I know it's not it. Speaking of which, gonna be at a friend's house to play more DDR. Have a good night, all. Have a good one, LP. So fucking good, man. <clears throat> also, if it helps, you might may be wondering, damn, Marlar, what the hell is even like, is that's all you're going to have for dinner? I'm like, yeah. I'm trying to be careful with my portions at the moment. So, yeah. What's up, RBM? Jerk chicken, the hot item? Oh, okay, okay. Go ox shell crazy shit. Oh, Jesus. What you eating? I had I had this Filipino thing that's like a beef with a mushroom sauce, and then I have a <clears throat> I have a chicken barbecue, and then I just have some veggie straws. <laughs> it sounds very lackluster, but I'm really just trying to fucking make sure that I don't eat a lot. That's why you don't see rice on this plate. Bro, what? What the fuck? 220 with a 22 non-refundable down payment required. And it doesn't arrive until next October. Man. They got me fucked up if they think I'm gonna buy this shit. And I love Mona, but uh uh. <laughs> I was so tired, bro. I was supposed to continue my drawing practice. Bro, I felt that. Not drawing, but I fucking felt that, man. Like, you had to do something. Like, today I was supposed to job hunt. But I just postponed it till tomorrow because I was like, you know what? I just, there's just too much I gotta do. Yo, RBM, we in the Phoenix homeland. Hopefully they can seri take the series four to two. I think Milwaukee, I, the entire series has been really good to watch, the NBA Finals. I think, um, I think it's gonna go to, I think it's a six game series, but if it goes to seven, I would not be surprised. <clears throat> Barlar can't have shit in this house, yeah. What a way to turn down your customer for getting Mona. Bro! I'm not getting this shit for 220. I like how they just have an angle of this shit, just her of her ass, bro. Literally frame one and center. Oh my god. If I was rich, sure, but mm -hmm. can't do it. 
They can't do it and won't do it. Props to the people who, uh, you know, who are gonna get this, but, uh, I, I can't do that. So Aaron Judge has COVID apparently? Oh, Jesus. I love you. I love you too, Kuo. Thank you for the resub of 19 months, sir. With Prime Gaming, yes, sir. Sorry, chat. Let me just let me just finish up my dinner and then we're gonna continue. Next, I'm gonna have the snack of veggie straws. I might as well take this time to say right now because I'll be completely honest with you. Um, I feel that, uh, <clears throat> I feel that, <laughs> I feel that I'm not fucking, you know, doing my job properly, but I really do thank you guys for tuning in, even though, you know, you're literally just looking at me, watching, listening to me eat fucking food and talk about Mona and <laughs> it's like, it's like, Jesus, <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> It's cool, Pog. I'm glad everybody understands because, man. Like I said earlier, I said I was going to stream, and I obviously am, but it's like, I don't feel like playing a game right now. Like, I'm just going to be streaming and just talk about whatever, you know? Arben, what dinner are you going to make? What are you going to make? I love watching you eat. It makes me hard. Okay, dude. <laughs> I mean, if I can bypass this point reward and show you a VOD. How many points are you at right now? Because I could say just say fuck it, you know? Okay. I could just say fuck it for this one time. Eighteen point five k. Oh yeah, Ollie, or bro, give it to me, bro. Uh, send me the link. Just this one time, though. Just this one time. I will watch this. Is the master? It's the only time I'm gonna ask though. You're good, man. <clears throat> I'll watch it when I get some water because I have to rehaul my water anyway. So. Speaking of, I should get some water, yes, sir. Um, while you do that, add time. All right, you got it. Okay. Just want to say, exclamation mark TikTok, exclamation mark socials. I have two TikToks up right now. 
And I have one in the works that is probably and most likely going to release tomorrow. Because... I have one ready to go. And guess what it is, guys? Do you recognize what that is? Among Us. It's an Among Us highlight. <clears throat> Probably gonna release tomorrow. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm gonna run some ads. And then we're gonna watch uh, this video that uh, Ollie uh, sent me. Turn off ad blocking break. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, if you guys got ad, if you guys got an ad, how many ads did you get? <laughs> Twitch, GoDaddy, A Quiet Place, Adobe, and now Sour Patch Kids. Oh boy. Okay. Let's watch this video. <clears throat> And uh, see what's going on. The title is called X Bungie Next to 343 Industries. What is this about? Unlike 343 Industries, those Bungie behind scenes weren't used for marketing. They're only available in limited editions as bonus content. Most of these Bungie devs aren't working at the company anymore. 343 Industries rarely talks about the development in those making of videos. There's a few... Whoa. What is this? <clears throat> Alright. So we're going to go ahead and watch this video that Ollie requested me. <clears throat> so let's watch. It's a 13 minute video, so sit back, relax, get your water, you know. And, uh, yeah. Let's watch. 
Is the Master Chief a traitor? Is he gonna die? Who's this dude that just shot him? What are you talking about? He didn't shoot him. The Master Chief was gonna shoot him. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what are you guys doing to Halo? Um, that's the point. That's the point. You actually want... Wait a second. Oh, wait, Ollie, what are we watching right now? <clears throat> is, is this like some sort of feud? Whereas, like, what is this going on? I hope, I hope Ollie's still here, but is there like a feud thing or? <clears throat> this comparing Halo 5 to Halo 2 to 3. Oh, okay. I get to the point where the player goes, well, wait a minute. I've been this character for three games. They can't possibly kill me. Cortana's our concern now, sir. <laughs> Is it more satisfying as a player to kill Guilty Spark yourself or to see the Chief do it in cinematic? But as soon as you make that decision, you're taking that action away from the player. Now Master Chief begins a deeply personal journey, questioning authority and searching for the truth. There's no sense of heroic action if there's no real consequences. Do it. Is Miranda coming across as strong enough? Now. Does the Arbiter have enough vengeance built up in him to really push that sword into truth? You must be silenced. The journey is the important part. The growth is the important part. And so really, where does he still need to go as, as a human? That became the key to not just the story of Halo 4, but the entire trilogy. You need to constantly remind players of what they're missing, that this thing is something worth going after but if it was just a straight now go find her here's a map people wouldn't care chief it's not safe master chief is human he's not a machine he's not a set of armor with a big weapon he's a human with resilience the success of the story is we didn't pump a lot of time into figuring out who the master chief was and why he was a ghost in the shell we thought he is a husk. He's a big green suit of armor that you move around. There's something good about I having see. the Master Chief essentially be a blank slate. That helps each individual person connect to the character. I see. The art process, <clears throat> storytelling is just a lot a of uh, very interesting comments right there. You don't have to take them through a lot of loops of feeling. The player is engaged. I think you've got the start. To give the brutes more depth, they need to have a history too. So I look at the brutes. I try to imagine what their home world is like. Maybe they're from a place where they hammer ore and there's lava and magnetism. And I say, okay, well, how do I build a magnetized metallic lawnmower that's fun to drive and shoot people with? You think about basic combat encounter design, a lot of the challenges designers face is how to introduce enemies. What would a Promethean do if it could bend time, space, form, matter? Knights can phase in out of anywhere. He's able to go where he needs to at any time, which is something the Covenant can't do. Here are the brand new hooks to the sandbox. The game to be interesting, like the, the guys we're playing against have to be fun to play. Does the profile of the character create an interesting look from afar? Is it fun to shoot at him when he runs around? Do you see his limbs moving up and down because there's things jutting up from the sides? The moment where all the Promethean effects really started to click the most was when we started showing the dissolve whenever you kill a knight. That was really when we started to feel, yes, this is something cool, this is something unique, and something that we haven't really seen before. You can have all the great graphics and all the different characters and lots of different weapons with amazing effects, but if you don't nail that 30 seconds, you're not going to have a great game. The sandbox is all of the characters, weapons, and vehicles in the game, and how they interact with each other through damage and AI and the player control. <laughs> The art direction specifically for Halo 4 isn't about creating an emotional tone for Halo 4, it's about creating an emotional tone for every single moment and experience that the player needs to understand. This is gorgeous, but this is an absolutely awful space to fight bad guys in. Tell them to drop everything and yeah. recraft this. This space needs to be fun before it's pretty. Every mission has its own feeling, and you don't just get that sense of, oh, I'm going from room to room and just killing more guys. If we tried coming up with this perfect mix of stuff that was still relatable, you would still identify a weapon as a rifle or a shotgun or a submachine gun, even though they're almost magical. It was really getting hard to add new weapons because balancing 
40 weapons, you're gonna feel like you have a weapon that is a clone of another. So the direction that we took is we added a new set of really, really powerful weapons that you don't really keep for a long time. The Forerunner Scattershot was probably the first one where we really nailed the design on it. Everybody loves the hinge action shotgun. The basic design for a weapon needs to be fun to shoot and fun to be shot at. Weapon skins. People love Magnum skins. People love AR skins because of the a, uh, because of the arena starts. Yeah. We we see a very clear <clears throat> clear need there. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Before I continue, I feel like what I'm watching is, as Ali said, what did he say before? This comparing Halo Five to Halo Two to Three development and such. From what it's from what it. From what I'm gathering, it sounds like Bungie takes care of the Halo franchise. Am I getting this wrong? Because it feels like Bungie is doing this, but then 343 is like doing this, but it's like, eh. Like, am I wrong in that? Or like, what? it's Halo 4 to 5, by the way, and I forgot they mentioned 4. Oh, okay. Part is loud as fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna lower it. Pizza. Oh yeah, you got it right. So I see. Ways for them to pay. Because, like, they're talking about from like from here, right? Magnum skins. People shoot and design for weapon needs to be fun to shoot and fun to be shot at. Weapon skins. People. And then they're talking about weapon skins. There's one skin where it's a fucking pizza skin. Who? What? We also like... have ways for them to paint different parts of the water uh, parameters. And then the engineer looks at it and goes, oh wow, I never thought you'd be doing something like that with my system. But that's so cool looking that I want to make a better system for you to do that. It's pretty obvious to us when, when we start working on these maps that they have to be fun for the hundredth and the, the two hundredth and the thousandth time. We knew we wanted to expand the audience as far as we could, but still satisfy the core as much as possible. We had to break everything down to line by line evaluation of our current scripts and redefine that core loop to not make it like Halo 2 or like Halo 3 or something in the middle, but make it- Call of Duty Black Ops 3. <laughs> redefine that core loop. To not make it like Halo 2 or like Halo 3 or something. Don't middle, make it like Halo 2. Black Ops 3. Oh my there are god! People that love Sprint, and there are people that just feel like Sprint has no place in Halo. And so for us, it was about how do we balance that? How do we counter that? Every weapon now has a zoom in. Holographic image comes up, it's all slick. It helps me with some types of weapons, especially rapid fire weapons in my case. You have a situation which is very common. Two guys get into a fight. Is there a way to mix that up? Let's say you start getting hit by a battle rifle from behind. Let's say you have a bubble shield, you drop it, all of a sudden you're completely shielded from this guy who's firing on you. Or you have a trip mine and you realize a warthog is barreling towards you. You deploy the trip mine at the last second. And yes, you die, but you take out those damn bastards that just ran you over. No! Yeah! <laughs> competitive as possible. Very competitive. Really competitive. 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 Oh, you're opening up a pack. It's animating. Someone make sound effects. <laughs> Mongoose, Kneeler, Ghost. Uh, yes. All the details are I love in. it. That's fantastic. All of the wiring in the house runs Hold into... Hold on. Hold on. And yes, you die. He was firing on Two guys get weapons, especially in case. You have a situation which is very common. Two guys get into a fight. Is there a way to mix that up? Let's say you start getting hit by a battle rifle. Is there a way to mix up the Let's gameplay, guys? Drop it all of a Hell sudden, yeah! You're completely shielded from this guy who was firing on you. Or you have a trip mine and you realize a warthog is barreling towards you. You deploy the trip mine at the last second. And yes, you die, but you take out those damn bastards that just ran you over. But we we have to competition. apply this to the competitive scene. You know what I'm saying? Competitive. 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 Oh, you're opening up a pack. It's animating. Someone makes out a pack. And fucking loot boxes, man. Yes. All the details are. I love in. it. Uh, 
That's fantastic. All of the wiring in the house runs into one room and into a pair of switches and then goes out again. What it comes down to is getting together with people, being able to yell at them, being able to like reflect on the gameplay afterwards. You know what? You know what also helps? Jump up and scream and throw I could already tell that the Bungie development is way better because you got people working on these games that absolutely looks like they love doing this. You can get close to just saying like it is just so clear look like look how much fun they're having developing and playing halo a bunch of people online and just press the button that said i want to play go find me some other people want to play and choose a game type that's pretty cool and just stick me in it as fast as you can and that to have that process happen in like five seconds halo 2 anniversary will contain the original halo 2 multiplayer exactly as it shipped 10 years ago no no take the things that we love about the halo scores that have come before and try to put that into it but then also add in the things that really excite us so we create something that's really honest as intimidating it is to follow marty's scores there's always a point like when i'm all by myself composing this looks this like just happened like within the last this looks like this was made like early 2000s to mid 2000s is this anything is this idea going to be interesting to anybody you have these whole series of self doubts and then there comes a point where i get over the hump like i add some instrument or i play some melody and it's like oh, oh okay that's what this was meant to be marty's pretty amazing marty makes uh pretty much everything you do twice as good and that makes me really angry because he's just about the only individual who has that level of contribution to the team but i would never say that to him there it is something. bet you can't stick it bet you can't stick it oh you're on what was that that's something something for the fans i like that that was that's the that's for that. the uh the little uh, glowy. That's for the really hardcore, like German press core. <laughs> Let's move. Take him out. The master chief is called, but you, your passage is denied. Epic worlds, epic battles, epic scale. This is the biggest and most ambitious Halo campaign yet. What you're about to see <laughs> is a giant leap for Halo multiplayer, and it's playable here at E3. Here we are. Halo 5 has arrived. After E3, Jesus. being able to jump into all of our levels and go right into it, we're still trying to figure out where we're going and what the quality bar is going to be. Bro. Because right now, the game is not fun. We are the most cynical people. Like, we are the jaded crowd who, if a game doesn't entertain us in five minutes, we stop playing it. As we design these things, we put together the best plan. I look at the changes that we're making, and it really feels like we're making a sequel to Halo 3. And that's exactly what we're setting out to do. If you somehow believe that what you're doing is the greatest thing ever all the time, it's absolutely not going to be the greatest thing. <laughs> first draft of this. Oh! It's not great. I didn't see any shape to this story. Nothing happy, nothing sad, nothing intense. I'm sitting here day in and day out working on the cinematics. And every scene that I make, there's this voice in the back of my head saying, what is keeping the player from skipping this? What's keeping the player from hitting a button and just going right to the end? Ultimately, it's involving the player and making the player really feel that they're in this story. All right. I want to establish that this is something a little bit more important. The story that we're trying to tell has higher stakes. Whether we can do that, we won't know until that thing's in people's hands and they're playing. This is Spartan 117. Can anyone hear me? Over. Well, we had such a great ending to Halo 2 where Master Chief said, I want to finish the fight. Master Chief, 
You mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. Oh! We want this to be the Return of the King. We want this to be the final chapter in an epic trilogy. It's pretty dope. This is the end of our trilogy. This Sister's is calling me. The end of the story. This is going to be the end of the fight. That was a dope ass video. Dope ass video. Thank you, Ollie. <sighs> so, Smash, huh? <laughs> Imagine. I feel like I feel like the chances of Master Chief being in Smash are pretty high. If I'm being honest with you, like if I'm being honest with you, it, it, like I've never I haven't played a lot of Halo. Like obviously, you know the last like when I first streamed Halo with Dominic, like a few weeks ago, that was literally the first time I ever touched a Halo game. But I feel like Halo, I feel like that would be so dope. It would be so dope. He finishes the fight. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that would just be so dope. See? <clears throat> I, it just would be so dope in my opinion. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at these comments. Oh, whenever I hear expanding the audience or appeal to a new audience, it's always the heads up that the game I once enjoyed is now no more. <laughs> the virgins. <laughs> oh my god, these fucking these are hilarious, bro. Oh, this is gonna be. It needs to be fun before it is pretty. Bungie, pure words of wisdom that I feel many games fail to realize these days. It's true. It's true. The game doesn't entertain us in the five minutes we stop playing it. Three four three is filled with people who want to please executives. Ha <laughs> ha. This was my biggest problem with Halo Four. All the weapons were fucking boring. They were just shotgun, but from space, and pis and pistol, but from space. Fucking hated that. Forerunner Scattershot was probably the first one where we really nailed the design on it. Everybody loves the hinge action shotgun, the basic design. Like I said, you can literally fucking tell that the people at Bungie at the time cared and loved developing Halo. While at 343, you know, you didn't get that same vibe of just people hoping that, you know, they want to make this shit as good as possible. I can't people that I can't believe that people design loot box animations say yes. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> <clears throat> this is amazing. R.I.P. Bungie. 343. It needs to be fun before it's pretty. 343. Pizza. Bungie sounds way more critical toward themselves. Push the game to its best form. True. Exactly. Passionate people versus people who get paid to make games. Bro, this is literally... That's literally what I just said. Honestly, the, Halo has esports? I did not even know that, bro. Like, if I'm being honest with you. This space needs to be fun before it's pretty. Uh, Halo 5 being COD definitely made people upset. Yeah, I just... Oh, boy. I don't know COD like that, but I know that that specific Black Ops was not well-received. Pure passion. Pack. Animating. Someone make sound effects. 
<laughs> Mongoose, Needler, Ghost, Fuel Rod Cannon. Yes. All the details are I in. I love it. That's fantastic. Jesus. See, you could really just tell at that point. I really do need to play the campaigns, though. I feel like I would enjoy it. I, I really need to play that. I have to actually install it first. That I that I need to I, that I need to do. I know that. This video continues to age like fine wine. <laughs> Wait, that that was that comment was eleven months ago. Wasn't that like when the Halo Infinite showed off its first gameplay or whatever? That loading before online lobbies killed me. <laughs> really when we started to feel yes this is something cool this is something unique and something that we haven't really seen before oh boy play Haley one on legendary as it's balanced for it can't say the same for the other games i we need more professionals like him and every scene that i make there's this voice in the back of my head saying what is keeping the player from skipping this? What's keeping the player from hitting a button and just going right to the end? Ultimately, it's involving the player and making the player really feel that they're in this story. That's a dope fucking comment, too. Like, th that's what I'm saying. Like, the story has to immerse with the player. That, like, he, he is 100% right on that. I know way too many games where I feel like I could skip some dialogue and I feel like I would not miss anything, you know? <clears throat> but yeah, I definitely have to play the Halo, uh... I definitely have to play the Halo, uh, campaigns. I feel like... I feel like it would just be so dope, you know? Like, I, I feel like I would even enjoy it, you know? Because I, I like shooter games, so I feel like I would enjoy the hell out of it. Um, all right, Last of Us 2 for some people. Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> all right, chat. What time is it? 9 23. Okay, probably gonna head out soon, but uh, I did want to say. Once again, it would be because I always get great cutscenes from Last of Us. That is true, yeah. Um, so, I actually did want to mention this earlier, so I'll mention it. I'll mention it now before I fucking before I fucking forget. But um, so to anybody who uh heard a few days ago, Sarge put up an announcement in his Discord server. And mentioned the vlog for Pack for Pack Sarge. To anybody who doesn't know, or maybe you do know, um, it's still happening. It's still happening, um, but it's gonna take some time. I don't know when, but just know uh, the person that I've at least started the per the person who has started to edit it. Um, but it, it's it's gonna take some time just just know that so i feel like because i'm not gonna cap i almost forgot <laughs> because i sent all the videos and the clips to him and and i just figured that he would have the time to do it but just know it's gonna take a little bit more time to at least you know continue to edit it he did give me an idea that he had in mind for it and i thought it was pretty dope so hopefully hopefully i have an i'll have an update for uh from him soon but just know it's still happening it's not like i forgot i fucking forgot about it and this conversation uh, in this conversation i probably should say this too but this conversation happened not it, it happened two days ago so yeah don't worry it's it's gonna get released I don't know when, though. I, I don't want to give this person, you know... I don't want to give this person that much of a deadline only because I don't want to, you know, 
oh i don't want him to like you know overwork himself so just know it's still in development yeah it sounds like i'm fucking making a game but mark my words it will get released i don't know when but uh just know we did not forget about it even though it's been like almost a month since i've given like an update for it so just know it's still happening i just don't know when it's happening so i, I don't know when it's really it releasing but just know it is still in the works just just uh, thought i said that um let's see what else um obviously you already know your boy i mean feel like I, I always have to say this. You're making a game. What's it called? Yo, Undervelopment. I see you. Come on, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, so tomorrow, um, I'm not too sh uh We'll see if I go live. Like I said, family is coming over. Uh, so I don't know if I'll go live. I feel like I always keep giving everybody false hope in terms of like streams and shit. So I apologize in advance once again. Um, but I know I have family stuff this weekend. So if you don't see any streams just know that's family stuff personal stuff um i'm fine everyone's fine it's just like some family events and shit um so obviously look out for all the content on instagram and tiktok especially follow my tiktok at azlarlar literally at azlarlar across everything except my twitter which is larlar gaming so go follow my tiktok if you haven't already or if you don't have a tiktok i mean I can't really do anything other than like, hey, share the thing out. But um, t my TikTok's popping off, and I'm really glad that it is. So expect a lot more posts, a lot of a lot of clips and edits and other stuff, but also some personal stuff as well. So uh, I hope you follow that. Um, obviously, at, ex at, at exclamation mark socials exclamation mark uh, Discord. Join my Discord server. Also, put down your birthday in the general chat. If you haven't already because i'm trying to like make a note of everybody's birthday because i feel like it's been i feel like it's at that point where if i know everybody's birthday i can make sure that i don't forget you know so make sure you drop your birthday in uh the discord exclamation mark discord um with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and just uh i'm gonna go ahead and end off now i promise i promise that streams regarding games will be you know here again i don't want to become a just chatting streamer it's just that like i personally just did not feel like playing something when uh you know like when i went live today and i was like you know what it's fine dude we got this so um Ooh, Mario Master. I haven't raided Mario Master in a while. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and raid my good friend Mario Master. Sure thing, good stream, King. Appreciate it, Ollie. Uh, unless you want to have another eating stream, because that's fine. I would, but I don't want it. I, I, it's just that, like, I, I do these just chatting streams, but it's not like I don't want it to where it's like I'm doing this every time, you know? Like, I don't want that to happen. I will obviously stream my Valorant at some point, and I'll obviously stream my Mario Kart at some point. But uh, hopefully I figure that out soon, you know? Um, with that being said, chat, I really do appreciate you guys being here once again. Once again, follow my TikTok, exclamation mark, socials, exclamation mark, TikTok. Other than that, chat, I appreciate that you guys were here. Um, it was a short stream, but it was a great stream. It was a great stream. Even though these shorts, even, the, even though these sh yeah, streams are short, um these are still really fun so i really do appreciate uh that you guys take the time out of your day and just uh come and watch me but yeah we're gonna go ahead and raid mario master uh and i will see you guys either tomorrow or on monday next week so peace out everybody have a good one everyone